B105, The Big Dave Show. It's a Thursday. It means it's time for some Tasha's Divine Guidance. And Tasha joins us now, fresh back from a Florida vacation. Hello, Tasha. Hello, Dave. So when you're on the beach, Tasha, do you know you're going to get sunburned? <laughs> no, but I know Marcus. <laughs> no, you're, <laughs> your man over there, Mark. Yeah, just check it. I know if you knew all of it. All right, so uh, joining us right now is our program director and midday host, Grover Collins. Good morning, Grover. Good morning. So Grover has heard you on the show with us, and, and while he loves you dearly for bringing him meat sticks and donuts like you do every he is a little bit skeptical, right, Grover? I am on the fence. I've had things happen in my life that I can't explain, but at the other times, I'm like, uh, is there a rational explanation for things? So what are you wanting to ask Tasha? I want to just let her just tell me what she wants to tell me. So are we, okay, we're not going to do pass We're just going to do whatever comes out. Well, sure. you want to oh, do a I pass like that. You want to pass No, line? let's do whatever comes okay. out. Whatever comes okay. out. Okay, let's see. All right. I already shuffled, so we're going to... She's already shuffled. We're off to a good start. So anything can happen. We can talk to somebody from your past. Uh, we can hear about your future. See, well, she's a little excited. She's dropping the cards. That's over how it there. works. They just fall out. Oh, that's how it happens. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. This is a day. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this can be past energy. I'm going to tell you, there was a situation where you had to be in this Queen of Swords energy where you had to cut someone out because there was just no hope in it. It caused heartbreak. It caused Ten of Swords pain, which is deception. Um, you know better what this is. Uh -huh. You don't need to elaborate unless you want to. Is this something, Grover? That, that is something I can I can relate to. Yes, I will agree with that. You don't want to share it. No, 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 cut somebody out. Yeah. yeah. So there was a lot of drama, a lot of conflict, but God stepped in, whether you know it or not, and took you into calmer waters. It was faded. It was meant to happen. But God definitely stepped in. And it requires you listening to your gut feeling, your intuition. Mm -hmm. So your intuition said, it's time to go. And you did. And you did. I did. And then yeah. it guided him right to shorties. This could have been a marriage or a long-term <laughs> commitment. <laughs> this could have been, um, yeah, like I said, this was a breakdown of what was not built on a stable foundation anyway. So they're being very clear about what it was. And you stepped into your power, and you took your power back. You were very passionate, very driven, and you decided to follow your own path. Can you give us, like, a sudden change. some of a story? You I can only tell you that without divulging that this is a serious family matter that happened in my past that she is accurate about. And she wow. would have had no idea none. that this... None. None. But I don't know anything about Grover. No. And with we that, just met. Grover's yes. heart grew five sizes that day. <laughs> 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 what is he? The, the I think I'm a very empathetic person. Come no. on. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. talking about your belief, in, your belief in uh, no. oh, oh, Tasha. Oh, 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 You're more yeah. than empathetic. You are the high priestess. You don't come out for the high priestess unless you are highly intuitive. Whether you embrace it or not, you're highly intuitive. All right. I'll Look agree that. with that. Yeah. And good, good for you for listening to yourself. Yes, cutting them out. definitely. And that's taken some practice. And that's what I teach my kids is your gut instinct mm. never lies. You may not like what it's telling you, but it's always right because it's never lied to me. Right. It's well, just listening to it that sometimes is struggle. Well, differentiating between the ego, which is of the earth, mm. and your heart and soul, which is spirit. Yeah. I that's think that gets difference. easier with age, too. It does. Okay, can you do past life on him, though? Because you just I, want him to be a female. I know I, you know. I, I just he's, want... still, he's still living with the nun thing. Yeah, yeah the 14 So he wants someone else to be in that camp. There's, There's literally got to be something worse Watch than a 14 Watch me be a Viking or something. Oh. I probably will. Some guy eating a big chicken leg, you know, <laughs> off a fire. And I'm like, hey, would you like to say a prayer with me before you? <laughs> what do you got for his past life, Tasha? That's very interesting. And you know what I'm getting is the Great Depression. You were in the Great Depression, and you knew what it was like to have no food, nothing, like to starve. So in this lifetime, you may, may be really empathetic to those, like you see those commercials where those kids are starving, those people have nothing. That may inspire great empathy in you because in one of your lives, you experience that. Now, I can get another one. Dude, wow. I think this explains why you eat so fast. <laughs> That's hey, so nice. Nice. Yeah. I'm telling you, like it's my last meal. meal. Yes. Before yes. we're Seriously. even like dinner. I've always been that way. Yeah. It's to the yeah. point where... This is a true story. So when my kids were young, we would go to, like, a, a buffet because, you know, how kids are when they're little. They don't want to wait for their food. Yeah. Sure. So the routine was is I would go up and get the kids' food, come back. Then my wife would go get her food. Then I would go last because I ate so fast and I would still <laughs> beat them all. Yeah. Wow, look at that. You're going to like what just came out. All right. Okay, so I have several cards here. First off, I don't know what your connection is with your father. 
uh, you have a karmic connection with your father. Mm -hmm. So you've spent many lifetimes with your father needing to learn a karmic lesson. That's the next card I love. Dev Dave is going to love this. Uh oh. You were burned on the stake as a witch, as a hot. <laughs> <laughs> During the Salem witch trials, you yes. were. Yes, wow. you were. Grover was sense. in Hocus Pocus. <laughs> <laughs> This makes sense because the high priestess came out for you in the regular reading. This means you were always highly intuitive and you were persecuted in another lifetime for that special gift. Damn. You weren't a witch, but you were also a knight. You were also a knight. A knight. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Let me tell you what, Tasha, you know where my family's from? Massachusetts. Oh. 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 Stop it. Oh. Stop it. Oh. I got chills. Woo. There you go. Yes. All right, yeah. so Grover's, uh, your skepticism is now eased a little bit, I think. I will confirm that she has said some things that are too on target for her not to know what she's talking about. Oh, 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 yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes Grover smells like he's burning. Is that? You know? <laughs> no, that's just my anger yeah, towards yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> or that gas station deodorant. <laughs> Thank you, Tom.